adult pattern. It's pretty sweet. Um, came up with it after fishing one of the lakes up on the Sea to Sky Corridor. Um, hit a hatch. It was pretty fun. I was fishing like Tom Thumbs, stuff like that, which kind of worked. Um, but I went home and pondered it all winter one uh, last year and uh, came out with this one, which was pretty awesome. So, I'm going to start with the extended body portion first. So I'm going to pop that out of the vise. And I'm going to throw a tube adapter kit in here. Ooh, fuck, get this going on here. Alright, there we go. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by making the tail portion. So I tie this separately. So I've just got some 2mm blue foam. Uh, I've kind of cut about a 2mm by 2mm strip. And I've got some uni thread, 6 aught and black. So I'm going to start that up at the top here. Just kind of get it started. Don't have to do too many wraps there. Alright. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this strip, which is a couple inches long, maybe four inches or so, double it over, and I'm going to poke that on the end of the tube kit there. You can use your, your uh, bodkin for this or whatever you feel like. So I'm just going to get that kind of started and kind of poke it through a little bit. I'm going to start wrapping a small section here. So let me just have a look here. How many segments do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments we're going to make. So that's our first one. Just a couple loose wraps. If you ever look at the uh, the naturals, they've got some modeling on them with black. So this black thread is going to definitely help. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to part that foam, go in between the two pieces. I'm going to wrap back on the needle just a little bit to the point where I want to start that next segment. Kind of fold it back over. And I'm going to make that next segment. This is number two. You can do this with deer hair, you can do this with all sorts of different materials. Um, I found this works quite good for the foam. Alright, and we're going to repeat, so we're going to do that a couple more times here. Just get that thread back to where you want the next segments. Three. Third segment. We'll wrap there. Going to go back here. Hey, I'm up. Oh, we're tying them. We are okay. live, Mr. Stu. Huh? Dragonfly. That's pretty neat. I know, right? All right. You always see those July two, three, in the, um, four. Uh, Nicola Thompson area. There you go. The same one? Stu's seen them in the Nicola Thompson area in June, yeah. July. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I tie these up in blue, green, red, blue. Exactly all like sorts that. of different colors. But blue is probably the most common. Yep. Yeah. Work. Oh, they work very well. I've actually seen naturals try to mate with this one, which is pretty crazy. It's kind of funny. You chuck them out there, you just sit them, you twitch them Where a little bit. Where are you fishing? Up in Squamish. Yeah, I've seen those. Uh, yeah. They've got those in all the lakes around uh, Nicola Thompson. Yeah. Nicola yeah, we got some... Hey, these guys are everywhere. Like Peter Holt. Yep. All in there. Stomp. Yep. So that's one, two, four, five. How many segments did I have again? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right, we'll go one more. Just gonna fold that back, wrap them back. Each section's getting progressively larger. I hope you guys can see that there. And we're gonna get one more here. Right on. Just a couple little wraps there. We're gonna do a nice soft whip finish here. You don't need to go too heavy. Or else you won't be able to get this thing off the adapter. So one, two. I find it usually holds pretty good. You can add a dab of uh, head cement if you like. Now for the modeling, what I like to do is on this bottom side, you'll see there's kind of the, there's the smooth side which is going to be on the side and then there's the, the rigid side which is going to be on the top and bottom. I like to just take a sharpie and quickly go over the edges of the foam. Just kind of like that. Just get a little bit more definition, a little more natural color to it. Kind of like that. Cool. So that's our tail portion. We're just going to wiggle that off. And there's our tail. So we're going to pop that out. Now we're going to get our hook in the vise. I go with a 
Where is it here? Nope. It is a egg hook, caddis hook. It's a Mustad C49S, size 10. I'll pop that in the vise. Just gotta adjust that there. All right, so that's our C49S in the vise, and I'm gonna start by tying in the eyes. You can make mono eyes. I didn't have a lighter with me, so it's easier to just pull them off the shelf. So I got some large size mono eyes. Uh, I know Boulder did a pattern not too long ago with um, making mono eyes, showing you guys how to do it. That's kind of the way to go. I think I use like 40 or 50 pound mono and then just color it with a Sharpie or dip it in um, the, the black head lacquer, or whatever. However you want to do it. So I'm going to go a couple eye lengths back and I'm going to lock that down right on top. Pull that so they're nice and even. Maybe a little bit back the other way. There we go. Spinning on me all over the place. Lock those down. Alrighty, go underneath a few times. You can add some head cement if you want. We're going to cover it up with foam and dubbing so they're not going to go anywhere. Alright, now make sure those are sitting nice and flat. Perfect. We're gonna take our thread back down. Yeah, not too far down, maybe to the end of the barb there. So now we're gonna take that tail. I like to put a little bit of a bend in it, as you can see. So that's how it's gonna sit. And I'm gonna start by taking that foam, sliding it on. Helps if you tuck it underneath the eyes, because it helps to hold it in place. And again, with the segmentation getting a little bit larger, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. We're gonna wrap that down, lock it down, as Brad would say. Then I find just throwing it on top makes it a little bit easier just to hold it in place. All right. Now we're just gonna open spiral that a little bit, get it up to behind the eyes. We're gonna trim that foam away. We're gonna cinch that all down nice and tight. Like I said, I love doing this. You can do this out of deer hair as well if you like. I find the foam a little easier to work with. A little bit cheaper too. You can get it in whatever color you want as well. I've seen some of these patterns done with like a sparkly blue foam, which is pretty cool. So now I've got another piece of foam. It's about the hook gap uh, in size. I'm gonna just cut that to a point. I'm gonna tie that in by the points right behind the eyes. Keep locking that down right to the back of that last segment there. Perfect, right about there. All right, now you're gonna take some ice dub UV dark olive here. Put that on the thread. This is gonna make our thorax and our body. Dub that on here a little bit loosely. All right, gonna make a nice little body here. Just a little bit of a base because we're gonna add our wings now. What are you doing? Tying a fly. <laughs> that one. One of these. A little dragonfly. Oh. Pretty cool, eh? We are live. We got people in the store checking stuff out. Busy day here today. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white antron. Cut myself about an inch and a half or so. And tie that in right on the side. I'm gonna get that situated how I want it to be. Give it a couple turns just to lock it down. So we've got a little bit of a V. I'm going to do the same thing on my side here. Get that guy cinched it down like there. Ads first, and yeah. it looks better. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Alright. Now I'm going to take a single piece of crystal flash in black. I'm going to tie one half on each side, just like the wings. 
cinch that down. So get a little bit of a V. We'll do the same thing on my side here. This one looks better than that one. Well, I'm not done this one yet. Video. Oh, you need to twist this one. Oh, not yet. I got the experts here showing me what's up. All right, so now I got that kind of X going on. And I'm gonna add a little bit more dubbing here, just to help separate those wings a little bit. Tie that down. Right. Yep. Happening? Yep, we're videoing, videoing it. it. We're live. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more dubbing. I'm gonna go in between the eyes a couple times and in front of the head there. You can watch it on YouTube later on Friday. So I'm going to go right there. I'm going to crisscross around the eyes a couple times. Pull that nice and tight. Finish that off right at the eye. Oh, got a little crowded there. Can you fast My dad's going. No, I can't fast forward. <laughs> He's always going around. <laughs> Can you tell me, like, uh, Alright, so let me just get that how I want it here. Just get that nice back. There we go. How about what are you doing? Now I'm going to cross on top of the eyes. What to are right you doing? Right behind the eyes. There, you guys got to let me finish this, okay? I'm going to pull that over. So I got a nice shell back there. Pull those wings back a little bit. Now I know what We're going to do a couple wraps here. Just to lock that down, and we're gonna go back in front. Not yet. Jeez, don't rush me, guys. All right, now we're gonna go right in front. How much more minutes? About 30 more seconds if you let me finish. <laughs> okay, I'll count to 30. So there we go. A couple wraps in front. Come on, guys. Give me a break here. All right. So we're gonna trim off that foam right there, and we're gonna whip finish again, keeping those wings back. Helps kind of lick your fingers, kind of pulls them back a little bit. And we're just going to do that right at the eye there. Here we go, one more little whip finish there. You can add some head cement if you like. Alright, and we're going to cut that one off. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to cut that off about three quarters of an inch to an inch. One more on my side. One more on my side here. Same thing. And there you go. There's your dragonfly. One, one little touch that I like to do is just add a little bit of black on the sides on the top. Doesn't really matter, the fish aren't looking. I think it just adds to the pattern a little bit. And there's your dragonfly. A little bit of bent antra on there. Once that gets wet, it's going to uh, straighten out a little bit. Pretty awesome pattern. So tie up a couple and let me know what you think. Let's head on back up. Oh, there it is. Dragonfly from Superfly. Um, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, anyways, so <laughs> gave Lorenzo a heart attack over here. Yeah, so the peanut crowd left. Thank goodness. Jeez. Um, it's all good. We encourage you to come check it out. Um, so yeah, that's my dragonfly pattern. Again, like I said, blues, reds, greens. Depends on what's hatching in your area. Um, like I said, I have had these get landed on by naturals. And they try to mate with these things, which is pretty cool. Um, the fish just clobber them. So that's yeah, a fun little one. Give it up. Try a couple. Give them a go. Uh, see what you think. Give us a show. Thanks. See you guys later.